today we will discuss related to MLD farmer so basically this is like a corrective blend shape how we can use it inside uh, we will create it in Maya and as well as uh, we will export the same thing inside Unreal so here what exactly I did is the animation is happening only on the joint this is like a blend shape which will be driving through the joint so this is called in Maya as corrective blend shape but whereas uh, in Unreal we call it as MLD former so how exactly we need to set up this one so initially first of all what you need is two, two setups first thing is you need to go to the plugins type ML deformer so you need ML deformer framework over here okay and next thing is from this side the link in Unreal Engine marketplace if you search related to Maya ML deformer you will get this one so you need to install this one open in the launcher once it is in, once it is installed then you can find a uh, folder inside wherever you have installed your epic games unreal engine and inside the plugins folder marketplace and mld former so inside my mld former you will find this mld former folder which will consist this mld former uh, python plugin and user setup these two folder this entire folder you need to copy this entire thing you need to copy and paste it inside your documents maya module okay so once you do that one then you can see a data generator ue ml deformer data generator over here inside maya the same way uh, inside unreal you can find animation deformers ml deformer so these two things has to be sites that means we need to set up inside Maya as well as inside Unreal then now we will see how to set up this one so here I have a simple cylinder with a joint right now this doesn't have any skinning or anything everything is uh, basic so there is uh, no fancy thing but the only thing is I have I kept my settings inside Z up not into the Y up right now to test it out easily okay and the second thing is I scaled this one something like a very big mesh uh, if you cross check with the simple cube the cube size is very small over here so I scaled up around like 100 times of this cylinder so that it will match the unreal size now I am doing a skinning part so select the mesh and as well as this joint go to the skin bind skin and everything I am keeping as a default now whenever I move this one you can see this is the animation so basically what I need is I just need a slight change in the whenever this animation happen I need there should be a last slight bulge actually you can correct this shape and everything but to make it a little more prominent to understand for us I am trying to keep it something over here okay for this so to set up a shape deformer go to animation pose editor so here inside the pose editor what we need is we can just first set up a pose the joint to which I need to animate create pose interpolation where we can see the join to name over here and then create a pose where you want to rotate something like 125 is here okay and then click on add pose then it will ask you to create a blend shape click yes it you can see the weight is one now we can add the shape what you need to change I will I'm just trying to change a little bit When I click stop the edit then you can come back to object space where we can see this animation of this one so now I'll keep it on zero now this post editor is post edit edition is completed over here so what I need is now I need to export this one as a blend shape as well as a ABC data okay so for that we will use click on data generation you need to select the whichever the joint is animating we need to take the select that one and add it over here where we can add um, which rotation if you want to keep rotations of X Y and everything then you can select everything but right now I just need only join to rotation Z because whenever I rotate in Z this animation is happening so I just need rotation rotation Z to the parameter so I'm just clicking on add parameter over here and what is the minimum is minus 10 and maximum is 125 I'm just keeping that values over here because minus 10 is something like this and 125 is over here okay so once after that here number of poses is very important if you keep it 50,000 poses it will take that many frames to calculate so what I am keeping is I'm just keeping only 200 frames 
and uh, parameter I'm keeping around like 75 percent as a active parameter and here it will ask which is the base mesh so when you click on here you can find this mesh which is there so here we have only this the mesh which is p cylinder one select this one and even for the target mesh I need to select the same one click OK and where you are going to save this one so here click on target mesh also so when you click over here previously I created over here so I'm just deleting these two for now okay so by default it will save under users uh, MLD former okay so here you will get this one and then once you set up that one click on generate it will animate everything and it will show you where exactly it is save when you click over here you will see this is the base mesh and this is the target mesh so later okay click on okay over here and you can see this is the animation something like that it is actually calculating uh, this animation will help to unreal to determine the exact position of this uh, how exactly the shape is animated so we will see how exactly this one we will use it inside unreal so now we got this uh, pose exported to from exported from Maya to unreal now we'll go back to unreal so here I have I will take a new uh, new folder I don't use this one maybe I will just delete all these things I'll take new level don't save uh, I'm just deleting all and even okay so inside ML there is nothing now I'm importing this FBX which uh, exported from the other place so now I will import this FBX so while importing I am just importing animation also and whatever the exported time or animated time we can keep that any of it so I kept that one and I will import the target mesh ABC so the target mesh ABC we need to import it as a geometry cache and the second one is we need to store the, mm, in the advanced option we need to store the imported voltage number that's all and click on import okay now this became like a target mesh this is a base mesh inside the base mesh we can see joints which is skeleton this is also a skeleton mesh and when you click on animation you can see this is the animation but inside this animation you won't see that shape deform because it is FPX but whereas in ABC you can find this shape is happening okay so we need to get this data from the target mesh to base mesh how we can do for that we will use this ML deformer go to the animation deforms click on ML deformer okay so this is the new ML deformer I am double clicking on it and here you need to select the skeleton mesh which is base mesh and animation sequence which is base mesh anim and target mesh so now once you zoom back you can see there is a slight change over here and you can move the mesh distance spacing from the target mesh to base mesh here we have like this so basically what exactly ML deformer is doing is we need to uh, train the deformer uh, that means here we have testing and training option is there okay so before that we need to set up what is the size so here right now it is 30 centimeters delta cutoff length uh, I will explain you what exactly this does uh, I am not changing anything from here okay and just clicking on train model okay so this is the time slider which is 200 already there so click on train model it will take some time because this is a very minimal uh, mesh there is not much of details in it only one joint animation and only a simple mesh which can take very little time but whereas if you have a very huge amount of data something like a, a entire character with a lot of joints and a lot of mo a lot more uh, number of frames something like uh, people use something like 10,000 frames also to get the proper deformation and everything so click on ok now for testing after training we need to test so here when you click on test it will ask you to select again animation sequence select the uh, sequence here and this is target mesh so what happened is we got some kind of deformation over here in that uh, in the output this is a base mesh this is target mesh but this is MLD deformer mesh so when I play over here you can see there is it is happening something but it's not coming correctly so to, to get this one perfectly we need to change some of these settings so here first only I'm just changing this to 150 centimeters okay and again I am clicking on train model basically what 
what is happening is the volume uh, from the skinned area okay that is calculated so I just made a little bit bigger in size so that is the reason it is asking 150 centimeters based on your model if it is uh, maybe 30 centimeters might be okay so just check based on your model so here is the volume and the next thing actually you can change these settings so like the quality settings this is these are all like okay click OK now you can see the uh, straight away this uh, ML deformer mesh is deformed correctly okay if you go back little I think okay yeah and now I'll just play and see whether it is looking correctly or not see so we got this ML deformer correctly now we just need to save this one and come back to so how we can use this one now we got the ML deformer is working it is transferred but I need this on inside a blueprint and then get it into a sequencer so to make it first I'll create a blueprint class which is actor class so BP base mesh inside it I will add skeleton mesh here inside the skeleton mesh I will select that inside the mesh base mesh so when you see you need to zoom out for because of the, it is a little bit bigger in size okay so we got this base mesh over here I'm just changing the hierarchy I'm dragging the skeleton mesh over to default scene root okay and I'm adding a ML deformer over here okay so inside ML deformer I can select the ML deformer which I created see this is ML de new deformer I didn't rename it as a base mesh so you could rename it that one as a MLD base mesh okay so we selected that and inside the skeleton we need to add some more things over here uh, one is inside deformer mesh deformer you need to by default there is a um, some settings this one will come let me show you that so turn on engine content as well as plugin content and inside engine content and plugin content you can find a ML deformer plugin ML deformer this is the one so this one we need to uh, add it into that over here inside deformers so for that uh, ML you just need to DG ML deformer model okay I selected this and then to test out here okay whether it is working or not what we can do is we can test over here animation asset and we can see inside this itself we got this one but I don't need this one as like this because uh, this animation is not correct what I need is I need a controller rake so when I when I use that controls I need to get this deform and deform has to be happen so in that case so what I will do is I will turn off this one use animation blueprint instead of animation and just save this one compile see come back to your uh, scene view and come to here ml folder I need to create a control rig for your base mesh so select the base mesh create control rig so here inside the control rig double click on the control rig you can now I'm just scaling this one to 50 50 okay the same way now join to add controller for selected so that will be over here but I just need to drag and drop over here and this one again I will just change this to 50, 50. I can change this um, shape instead of um, I can use sphere kind of thing instead of looking like a blob filled sphere okay so this is the controller I need and now I need to actually now if I select this and rotate it won't move anything so we need to give some kind of connections over here so for that just drag and drop your joint one get controller okay and same way joint one set bone okay so execute from here to here and transform here the value to here so now if I select this and move the entire thing moves and if I rotate also everything will rotate okay so the same way what I need is I need to do for the second joint also so joint to get controller and joint to set bone so now I am just connecting this execute function and this one to the value okay now we can test it over here whether it is working okay so this is working over here fine so compile save once that is done what we need is we need to go to the blueprint here inside 
there is an option called animation rig. So we can select the animation rig uh, base mesh control rig, okay, which will give you the controllers. Compile, save. Now we will create a level sequencer, okay. Uh, I'm creating a new level sequencer. From here, I'm adding this BP base mesh to the scene and coming back to here you can you can see straight away you can see this controllers I'm moving the floor a little bit down right now just to see and open the joint to controller and which might yes so now just come over here click on animate key of rotation come to the next frame animate it like this and key it oops I think I didn't animate the yaw okay so on this frame we'll animate it that's all so this is the way we can export ML deformer from Maya to Unreal okay hope you like it thanks